have the Calvary Corner this morning. It's on the back of your bulletin. And it says, Power and Principle. The enemy will throw everything in his toolbox at you, but he cannot stop you by himself. His objective is to get you to stop you. When we consider King Ahab in 1 Kings 21, we read, There was no one like Ahab who sold himself to do evil in the sight of the Lord. He sold himself to do evil, thus stopping himself from being a godly ruler. What was in the vile toolbox that distracted Ahab from anything God may have given him? Lust, as innumerable temple prostitutes were at his disposal, idolatry, for he worshipped Baal and the female deity Asherah, greed, as he and his utterly wicked wife Jezebel were equally guilty of Naboth's death. Naboth was a man of integrity and godly principles. Ahab was lord over ten twelfths of the land, but coveted Naboth's vineyard for a garden for his own. His legacy is that of a sulking, pouting, spineless wonder, who agreed to be Jezebel's puppet husband. Now spread your right thumb from your index finger and place it on your forehead. <laughs> That's Ahab. He is the poster child for those who have great power but no godly principles. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? Is there anything in particular that Satan is offering from his toolbox to distract you from Christ? It's interesting that today we have more conveniences than ever, but less time for God. His word to pray and for some, his church. If demonic spirits can keep us occupied, we become no problem for them. As time is running out, it might be better to consider making our decisions in the light of eternity. The enemy's objective is to get you, to stop you, God says you are more than a conqueror. Press on and don't hold yourself back. Live it out, Pastor Huck.